Welcome back to another episode of I Don't Want to Cook, but I Still Need Meals to Eat this week, so here we are. Today, we're featuring the simplified, easy ground chicken curry. I started prepping this at 1022 and had it all wrapped up in 40 minutes at 1102. Quick and efficient to keep me fed. Now let me show you how it's done. The name of the game is Shortcuts. The freezer section at your store should have a bag of frozen carrots and peas like this one here, and I always keep a jar of minced garlic and some minced ginger in the fridge or freezer. You don't need to tell me how much better fresh garlic is, this is about efficiency. When I thought about if I would rather peel and chop fresh garlic for this recipe, or plunge the business end of a fork through my eyeball, the answer was the latter, so the jarred stuff is going to do just fine. Before you start cooking anything, cut one small onion or 125 grams into a small dice. Then roughly chop about a half of a bunch of cilantro leaves or 20 grams worth to be used as a garnish. This can be optional, but I strongly recommend including it for added flavor. Once those are both chopped, move on to cooking the rice. We're going to toast the rice first with some seasonings and oil for a bit more depth. Place a pot over medium high heat and add in 1 tablespoon or 15 grams of ghee or oil. To that oil, add 1 tablespoon or 15 grams of minced garlic, 1 and a half cups or 270 grams of uncooked rice, and 1 teaspoon or 3 grams of cumin. Stir that rice around in the oil and cook it for 2-3 to three minutes until it has started to brown slightly. Once it has colored a bit, add in 2.5 cups or 600 grams of water and bring that pot to a boil. Then you can toss on a tight fitting lid, reduce the heat to low, and simmer for 15 minutes. I'm going to move it back to the big stove to get it out of the way, but all it's doing back there is chilling so you're not missing out on anything. Next, heat a large skillet over medium high heat and add to it 1 tablespoon or 15 grams of ghee or oil. Then you can dump in the 125 grams of minced onion that we chopped earlier, 1 tablespoon or 15 grams of minced ginger, 1 tablespoon or 15 grams of minced garlic, 1 tablespoon or 9 grams of curry powder, 1 teaspoon or 3 grams of garam masala, 1 teaspoon or 3 grams of paprika, and 1 quarter teaspoon or 1 gram of cayenne pepper. Mix the contents of the pan together so the ginger and garlic get well distributed and the spices are mixed in to be toasted in the oil. Cook this for about 2 minutes, then add in another 1 tablespoon or 15 grams of ghee slash oil in preparation for the chicken. Create some room in the center of that skillet and add in 2 pounds or 908 grams of ground chicken breast. The one that I'm using for this recipe is 97% lean. Spread it out in the bottom of the pan and then season the top lightly with salt and pepper. Give the chicken some time over the heat to develop a touch of color before you go moving it around at all. When it's ready, you can flip it over to the other side and start to break it up into smaller pieces. Let it go for another couple of minutes on the reverse side and then continue chopping away at it to break it down. When the chicken is about 80% of the way cooked through, dump in one can or 425 grams of tomato sauce followed by 3 fourths of a cup or 180 grams of water. Stir everything in the skillet together so it becomes one. Reduce the heat to medium and allow it to lightly boil for about 8 minutes to cook the tomatoes and thicken slightly into a sauce. While it is stewing down, place your frozen peas and carrots into a microwave safe dish and microwave them just until they have thawed out a bit. Shortly after doing this, the timer for your rice will be yelling at you, so take it off the heat and let it sit with the lid on for 5 extra minutes. Once those 5 minutes are up, you can pop off the lid and dump in all of your vegetables. Fluff the rice with a fork, give it a taste test, and adjust the flavors with salt and pepper as necessary. You're going to do the same thing with the chicken once it's cooked for about 8 minutes and the sauce has thickened. Taste test and add salt and pepper until it meets your preferences. Salting to the correct amount for your taste buds is what's going to keep this from being bland or over salted. I'm sure many of you guys also watch Ethan's channel. He posted a great video on salting foods earlier this week and you should all go watch that. This recipe is going to make 5 servings, so lay out 5 of your meal prep containers and divide the rice evenly into each of them. Once again, as long as you are eating all 5 of these meals over the course of the week, it does not matter if one container has slightly more of an ingredient than another because it's all going to balance out in the end. You can also divide the chicken mixture evenly between the 5 containers. If you wanted to weigh and measure to make sure that you were getting completely even servings in each, feel free to do so. It's not worth the time to me. Once divided, the last step is to sprinkle over some of that chopped cilantro for both a garnish and some added flavor. With a pound of vegetables within the rice, these meals have a good amount of volume, and each serving's got about 610 calories with 51 grams of protein. After you have given the meals some time to cool down, you can toss on the lids and throw them into the fridge where they will last for up to 5 days. Reheating involves only a short little vacation in the microwave. Meals with tomato-based sauces always tend to do better in the fridge over the week. It's like the ingredients within the sauce have more time to come together and the flavor seems to improve in the days after cooking. I've noticed the same thing with things like lasagna, where it's just as good, if not better, reheated the following day. This 40 minute meal prep could have been made even faster by not toasting the rice and just throwing all the same ingredients into a rice cooker. Although you would lose out on some flavor, I'm sure there are plenty of you who would rather have the added convenience. To tell you the truth, I absolutely would have done that but my rice cooker was dirty and taking 3 minutes to clean it at the time sounded like one of the worst things that could ever happen to me. 
In other news, I ordered a garden hose from Amazon the other day, and they messed up my order and sent me a Hot Wheels track instead. And how rude would it be of me if I didn't use that to take the B-roll on this channel to the next level? So check out these sick jumps. The full recipe for how to make this easy ground chicken curry is posted on my website and the link to that is in the description below. See you next week.